Palestinian demonstrations are over at Tulane's Uptown campus. Early this morning, we were live as the NOPD removed protesters and their encampment. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sharice Gibson. The demonstration started ramping up last Friday, and early this morning, they came to a close with more than a dozen demonstrators arrested. Lily Cummings has been covering those demonstrations, and we've seen across the city since Sunday, Lily. What's happening now at Tulane? Well, Katie Sharice, this morning we saw Tulane put up these large, tall fences across campus where this encampment was. You can see these signs posted saying private property, no trespassing, as well as Tulane police's presence out here. They say that these fences are going to remain until commencement on May 18th. Tulane says it hopes that it can return to normal operations tomorrow. Around 3 a.m. Wednesday, New Orleans and state police descended on the encampment at Tulane. Law enforcement warned demonstrators to leave. A special operations unit formed a human wall, moving demonstrators along St. Charles Avenue. At one point, you see an officer point what might be a less than lethal weapon at demonstrators. Our cameras were rolling as arrests were made. We heard from a Loyalist sophomore after they were released from jail. I was shoved, I was pushed, and I was pulled. NOPD Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick was on the scene. We wanted people to be able to have voice and yet not create a violation of the law. This is protected property. This brings the total number of arrests to 20. Of those, three are Tulane students, five are Loyola students. Organizers say the others were alumni and community members. I can say that I don't think I've ever seen that many Loyola and Tulane students yeah. united on one yeah. thing yeah. ever, yeah. <laughs> ever. Some Jewish students say campus feels safer now that it's over. I feel safe. I feel like they handled it very well. I'm very relieved that it's over with. I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of other colleges where you've seen like things get out of hand, and like there was a time where I was a little worried. You know, could this escalate? Could this get any worse? Tulane closed three buildings during the demonstrations, moving those classes online. The university says they will reopen on Thursday. Tulane suspended seven students, and Loyola says it's discussing disciplinary action. I am no longer allowed on campus. Um, all of my belongings to complete the semester are on campus. At this time, we have no indication that they will allow us to complete our finals. Demonstrators say they don't plan to back down. It is not over with the end of a semester. And Tulane did release a statement this morning saying that it's looking into reports of employees being involved with those demonstrations as well. Reporting live in Uptown, Lily Cummings, WWL, Louisiana. Okay, so more to come. Thank you, Lily. And just after that encampment cleared, we also heard from the independent police monitor about it. She was there to observe how the NOPD officers handled the situation. And